How to add a video to Shopify homepage banner 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another Shopify and e-commerce tutorial. In this one, we're gonna be discussing how you can add your very own video banner to your Shopify homepage. So it's gonna be very simple and it's gonna be very easy. I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps and it's gonna be very detailed. I just want you to follow all of the instructions till the end and I just want you to sit back and relax and hear it all out. And if you hear me all out, by the end of this video, I guarantee you that you'll properly know how to add a video or image to your Shopify homepage banner. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, we're going to go to our shopify.com. So here we go. Now, once we're in our shopify.com, obviously you're going to get yourself familiarized with how Shopify really works. Once you're familiarized, obviously you're going to click on start free trial. What this is going to do is it's going to redirect you to create your account and it's just going to ask you for your email and verification. Now, once you've done that, what's going to happen, uh, I'm going to show you right away. It is going to bring you to uh, a page like this where it's going to ask you to create a store. So when it says create a store, you're going to add any store name. I'm just going to name this image video banner. I'm just going to name it this. I'm going to create store. Now, once you add in your name, it starts creating your store. And once it creates the store, it starts asking you all of these optimization questions. So I'm just going to wait for it to load up really quick. Now, once it's loaded up, it's going to start asking me a few optimization questions. So uh, I'm going to answer all of them and I'll make sure to answer them correctly because according to that, it uh, basically optimizes our account. So uh, just make sure to fill in all of these. Are you, are you already selling? How much money? and watch uh, what industry you can put in any of these or you can just skip it right now. I recommend you do it because it just makes life easier. Then you're going to put in your address. Make sure to put in uh, your address also because it's an address where you can get paid. Basically, if you don't put in any credit card or bank account details, then they're going to send you a check to whatever money you've made or any bonus you've made to your address. So once you're here, now what you're going to do is obviously, first of all, you're going to see if you have a store. Now, you don't have any theme on your store right now. So first of all, you're going to click on online store and you're going to set yourself up a theme. So I'm just going to wait for it to load up. And as you can see, it is loading and configuring a theme for us. So I'm just going to wait for that to load up. Now, while it loads up, what we're going to do is we're going to upload our video or image that we want to upload. So for that, we're going to go on settings. And once we're on settings, either we're going to go to files. And once we're in files, we're going to go on upload files. Now, once we go to upload files, you're going to find any picture or a video you want to play. And you're just going to add that picture. So uh, let's say I want to add, I'm going to go to my desktop. And let's say I want to add this picture. So what's going to happen is it's going to upload this file over here. And once it's properly uploaded, what's going to happen is it's going to ask, uh, as you can see, it shows me right here. Now, obviously, right now, my plan is the free plan and I can't upload a video on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have an upgraded plan. Once you have an upgraded plan, you're going to upload a video and it's going to come here like this. What you're going to do is you're going to copy its link. And obviously, you're going to click on upload files over here. And once you do that, you're going to back out. Make sure to copy the link of the video or picture you have uploaded. Now we're going to come back to our themes bar where we can see our theme. So what you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to copy and duplicate your theme just to make sure that, like there are no mess ups. Now that you have a copy of your theme, what you're going to do is you're going to edit the code. So for that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on these three dots and you're going to click on edit code. Now, once you click on edit code, you're going to go into the sections. Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated. So just follow me through. You're going to go to sections and you're going to click on add a new section. And once you click on add a new section, you're going to name the section video dash background. And once you do that, you're going to click on done. And once you click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to redirect you over here. And it's obviously going to have a code over here. Make sure to just cut it out. Now what you're going to do is 
very important and it is the crux of this video. So there is going to be a link in the description which I want you to check out. It's a Google Doc link and it's going to open up right here. So this is the Google Doc and it's going to be in the description because this is where all the codes are going to be. So you're just going to go to this code and you're going to make sure to copy all of it. So I'm just going to click on control A. I'm going to copy all of it. I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste it. Make sure to cut out the top part. Yeah, we don't need this. I'm just going to cut this out. I'm going to bring this up here and there we go. Now this is all of our code. We're just going to make sure that it's properly pasted. It's a 856 line code. So make sure to check it. And once you've checked it, all you need to do is you're going to click on save. And once you click on save, what's going to happen is it's going to save this HTML and CSS code for our website. Now, once we've saved it, we're going to click on exit. And once we click on exit, we're going to see our theme over here. Now to check if our code really worked, we're going to click on customize. We're going to wait for it to load. So now that once it's loaded, you're going to check if the image manner feature is over there. And as you can see, the image manner feature is here. So how do you add your video to it? Now that is what I'm going to show you and it's going to be very simple and very easy. So just make sure to follow all the instructions. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click on add section and over here in the theme sections, you're going to get video background. Now, if you don't get this, you haven't saved the code properly. So make sure to save it properly. And in the theme sections, you're going to get video background. You're going to click on it. Now, once you click on it, you're going to drag it up to the top because obviously we want it right here. Now you can drag it to the top or you can just bring it down an image banner and suit whatever is best for you. Now, once you're over here, basically what's going to happen is you're going to click on video slide or you're just going to add another block if you want it totally upon you. And over here, you're going to paste the link of the video or the image, whatever you have added, you're going to paste the link of it right here. And what that's going to do, is it's basically going to bring that video link right over here. And after that, what you can do is you can also add a cover image if you want to. For example, you can add this one. You can give a different heading to it. You can put a different, uh, let's say, description to it. You can change the text color like you can make it red just like that. And you can also mess around with other bits. Uh, basically, you don't need the image banner tab. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go and you can basically either remove it or you can just bring it way down here and just make sure that no one sees it. Now, once you're on video background, as you can see the video slide, use this text to share information, yada, yada, yada. You can change that as well. So I'm just gonna go here, new video banner. You can put that up, you can change the text. You can even mess around with a button label. You can change the button label link. Uh, you can change the background text colors and obviously just add your link. And once you've done that and you're clicked on save, what's going to happen is whenever someone loads into your store or whenever any user loads into the store, what's going to happen is they're going to start seeing that video play in the background. And that is how easy is it is to add a video to Shopify homepage banner. Now, if you found this video helpful, please drop a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any queries related to this video, please let me know. I will answer to all of your questions ASAP. But yeah, apart from that, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.